Hey everyone, welcome to the sew along video from my second design with Nomi pattern, the ME2029. The ME2029 is a super cute retro 60s mod inspired design and there are two design options in one pattern. View V is a dress with a belt that only wraps around half of your waist and pleats along the bottom of the skirt. And this floral version right here is the same one that's on the pattern envelope and I made this version using a ponty fabric in a print that I designed myself. View A is a dress with the belt going all around the waist and a classic A-line skirt with patch pockets. This one here is made with Kona cotton and candy pink. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to sew view A, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit. So instead of sewing everything using one fabric, I'm going to add a little bit of contrast to this dress and the end result is going to be a cute nautical inspired version of the dress. And it's also going to be part of a bigger personal project that I'm working on at the moment. And that's my spring summer nautical inspired capsule wardrobe. Now let's get started. So for this version of the dress, I'm going to use a contrast fabric for the collar, the placket, the belt, and the patch pockets. I'm using a white poly cotton as the contrast fabric and a mid-weight double knit fabric for the main fabric. To make the dress in view A, you need to cut the following. Bodice front, bodice back, front and back facing, skirt front, skirt back, sleeves, collar, placket, belt, and patch pocket. Now the contrast fabric I'm using is pretty lightweight, so I'm changing the way I'm sewing the pockets up for this version of the dress. Instead of having just one layer, I'm going to have two layers of fabric for the patch pocket, and so I'm cutting four pieces of the patch pocket. I'm also adjusting the pattern piece, so this horizontal line here is 5 8 inch from the fold line. Now let's get started with sewing. To get some pressing out of the way first, start by applying interfacing to the fabric pieces. You need to apply interfacing to the facing pieces, the two collar pieces, and one belt piece. Okay, now we're really going to start sewing. Sew the collar right sides together, just along the curved edge with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Trim the seam allowance and turn the collar right sides out. Make sure you press the collar neatly and the seam is free of any puckering. Top stitch a quarter inch from the edge and do this for both left and right collar pieces. The placket is put together in the same way, so the two pieces right sides together along the U-shaped edge, trim the seam allowance and then turn it inside out and give it a good press. Do the same for the belt as well, but remember to leave a 4 inch wide opening for turning the belt right sides out. After turning the belt right sides out, top stitch all around about a quarter inch from the edge. Next, we're going to start working on the main parts of the dress. Start by sewing all the darts for the fabric pieces. Remember to sew your darts from the widest end to the pointed end and press your darts when you're done. Now we're going to stitch the placket in place. Pin the placket on the bodice front, matching them at the notches, and sew the placket in place by sewing a quarter inch from the edge. Next, attach the bodice front and bodice back pieces together along the shoulder seams. Once that's done, place the collar pieces in position, matching them at the notches with the bodice front and baste it in place. I forgot to switch to a longer stitch length while sewing, but it's fine, it works the same. Join the facing pieces together along the shoulder seams and finish the lower edge. And now sew the facing to the collar right sides together. 
At this stage, you find the neckline to be a little bulky with all the different layers of fabric. This is especially when you're sewing with a thicker fabric like double knit or ponty knit. So I highly recommend that you grade the seam by trimming the seam allowance after facing off before under stitching the facing. Even after under stitching, the facing isn't going to lay flat just yet. I'll show you what you can do later to help the facing stay flat. And now sew the bodice front and back together along the side seams. Next, we're going to start putting the sleeves together. Sew the underarm seam right sides together and stitch the hem in place. Now, since the double knit fabric doesn't really fray, I ended up just doing a single fold hem that is one and one quarter inch wide. Then attach them to the bodice. Remember to take special care in easing the sleeve cap when sewing. For me, easing the sleeve cap is the trickiest part of sewing this dress, but because I'm making this version of the dress with the knit fabric, I was able to get away with the challenge of easing the sleeve cap in by simply clipping the seam allowance on the bodice and then spreading that fabric out to ease the sleeve cap in. It's coming together! It's time to sew the patch pocket on and here's my cheeky way of making the perfect patch pocket with the rounded bottom without too much easing, basting and pressing. I placed two modified pocket pieces right sides together and sewed them all along the edge, leaving a little opening along the top edge to turn it right sides out. Then I trimmed the seam allowance, turned the pocket piece right sides out and gave it a good press and stitched the opening closed by top stitching along the straight side. Finally, I placed the patch pockets on the skirt front and stitched them in place. There you go, perfect round edges on the patch pocket without the need of too much easing of the rounded corners. Next, sew the skirt pieces together along the side seams, then attach the skirt to the bodice. And it's zipper time! To install the zipper, I started off by sewing the back seam of the dress from the base of the skirt to the notch. Then I hand basted the rest of the back seam from the notch to the top of the dress. I'm using a regular zipper for this dress with a side lapped placement. It looks like it only took me a minute to get the zipper in, but in actual fact, it took me the entire evening because I was really trying to get the horizontal stripes to match up. And here it is, good enough for me. After this, I hand stitched the ends of the facing in place. Because I used a regular zipper and because the double knit fabric is a little bulky, I added a hook and eye closure for longevity of the dress and a professional looking finish. Once you're done with sewing the zipper, you can go on to hem the skirt. Last but not least, sew the buttonhole on the belt and attach your choice of buttons. Now for the facing to lay flat inside the dress when you're wearing the dress, make sure that when you are sewing the first button on the placket, your stitches are sewn through all the layers of the dress. I also like to attach the facing to the bodice of the dress along the shoulder seams of the bodice. And I do this by laying the dress flat, pinning the facing in place, and attaching it by sewing along the shoulder seams. This way, the stitches are hidden on the right side of the dress. The shoulder seam of the bodice and the shoulder seam of the facing will not match up and that is just the way it is. 
So I hope you have found this video so along helpful and I am so looking forward to seeing your version of the ME 2029. If you want to see more sewing projects, styling inspiration, and the rest of my spring, summer, nautical inspired capsule wardrobe, then do subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!